with breaking news out of Johnston. An intense fire breaks out at a metals recycling plant. It's a story we first brought you on WPRI.com. For hours, plumes of black smoke could be seen billowing into the air, and several nearby residents were forced to evacuate from their homes. Tonight, that fire has finally been put out. Eyewitness News reporter Maura Kennedy joins us from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Johnston with more. Maura. That's right, Kelly. Just about an hour ago, firefighters left the scene. Take a look behind me here. You could see the piles of metal. Firefighters tell me that's where it started. They're still spraying water on it, trying to put it out now. Johnston firefighters battle about a six hour blaze that filled the area with smoke and flames. The fire broke out around 245 when a security guard saw smoke coming from a light iron pile. It's just very difficult. Um, the pile is high, so you have to separate the metal. And as you separate the metal, the fire department has to then hit it with the foam. So it's a time uh, consuming process, but uh, um, thank God it's out. Johnson firefighters caution neighbors in the area about the heavy smoke. I've been told by the fire chief that it was up to the neighbors if they wanted to evacuate. He didn't see the reason for it. Had suggested that they close their windows. If they felt necessary, they could evacuate. But I'm not aware of any mandatory evacuation. I, I know of no toxic fumes that we have. Manager Colin Kelly tells us five years ago yesterday, the company had another fire break out. Ironic, but also very strange. Very eerie. Very eerie. I mean, what what came to your I, head when you? I was I was in New Hampshire with my family when I got the phone call, and um, vivid memories of five years ago. It's it's just very weird. The manager tells me that one employee was injured while on the scene. He has been taken to the hospital, but his extent of injuries is unknown at this time. Reporting live in Johnston with the Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.